kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Rock, paper, scissors. One day, the kittens were working on a model of an island. Wow! Our dinosaur island is finally ready to go. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Time to play dinosaurs! But wait a second! We have to clean up the mess in our room first. I've got an idea. What if we play rock, paper, scissors, and whichever of us loses, cleans up? All right, then. How do you play? Oh, it's super easy. You count to three and stick your paw out as a rock or scissor or as paper. Scissors beat paper because they can cut it. But rock wins over scissors because it can break them. Paper is the most cool, though, because the piece of paper can cover the rock. I got it. Okay, let's give it a try, Cookie. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors one, two, three. three. Rock, paper. Oh. The piece of paper covers up the rock, so... Candy's the winner, and I play Cookie next. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, one, two, three. three. Scissors. Mm. Pudding wins because rock breaks scissors. Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. This is huh? not scissors. It's a whistle. Mm. So, the whistle is louder than the sound of the scissors snipping. Whistle beats scissors, then. But you're supposed to play with only rock, paper, scissors. This is the new cookie way to play. All right, we're on a hunt for objects that make us victorious. The new way should let us play all together. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. Ship. Magnifying glass. Jump rope. It's longer than the glass and the ship. But the ship doesn't sink in water. The rope and glass both sink, though. Oh, uh, but you can't control the ship. But you can control the car. The car wins, the ship loses. But the hat can completely cover it, so the hat beats the toy car. The hat will get soaking wet in the rain, but not the umbrella. The wind blows away the umbrella, but not the sturdy chair. The chair didn't have wheels, but roller skates did. However, the bicycle had bigger wheels. Huh? Huh? The nail could puncture the tire. And the huh? hammer could hammer the nail. All these objects were so cool. Which of them would win? There's a hairbrush in the butter dish? Oh! The brush is harder than the butter, so the hairbrush wins. Has anybody seen where my hat got to? Uh, oh! Goodness, what is going on in here? We were playing rock, paper, scissors, and we got a bit carried away. <laughs> well, it looks more to me like you're playing mess clutter junkyard. <laughs> Yeah, we were trying to figure out which of us had to clean up, but we just made the mess even bigger. Yeah, we shouldn't have played rock, paper, scissors, and all that other stuff. Well, I think it's time you three played a game of mop, dust, vacuum. I have a really good idea. How about instead of saying just one of us has to clean up, we all clean up together? <laughs> Quite fond of this new game. You're all winners. And since your room is clean again, now you can play dinosaurs. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> the kitty cats had a fun day with rock, paper, scissors, ships, hats, mops, and dinosaurs. A trip to the store. Mommy and Daddy were doing all their shopping, and they brought the kitty cats along. Spaghetti noodles. Bananas. And fresh fish. I think we might need a second shopping cart. How much longer? I want to go home and play. 
And I'm really hungry. Wait! Looks like we forgot the milk, bread, and tea. <laughs> oh. Now we have to pick it all up. While you pick it up, we could get the bread, milk, and tea. Good idea. That way it'll be faster. Well, I think we can trust you with this big, important grown-up job. Right Daddy and I will be waiting for you outside. Mommy gave them her wallet so they'd be able to pay. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie, you go and pick up the bread, and Pudding, you get the milk, and I'll find some tea. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> but the bread wasn't nearly as interesting as the toys. And who cares about milk when there's candy? And speaking of candy... Candy remembered that she had a very important job to do. But it looked like Cookie might have forgotten that. And Pudding, too. Where's the milk and bread? We have Mommy's wallet. There's enough money in it to buy anything. Milk and bread are kind of boring, but candy's awesome. Pudding, but then what will we drink if we don't have milk? Cups of candy? <laughs> Cookie, if we go home without any bread, then what's Mommy going to make sandwiches out of? Out of a toy bus? <laughs> Oh, all right. right. The kitty cats went to buy bread, but it turned out there were lots of different kinds. Let's just grab this one and go. But that's a cheesecake tart cookie. We're just looking for regular bread. Uh, how's this one? I'm pretty sure it needs to be brown. This one, then? That one's round, but the sandwiches that we eat are always square. Look, this one's square and brown as well. All right, that just leaves milk. It turned out milk came in different kinds, too. Strawberry. That isn't right. Chocolate, yum. Nope, still wrong. Well, is this it? That's yogurt, not milk. Uh, it looks like this is just normal milk. Then that's the one we want. Chase's mom was a cashier at the market. Cookie, candy, and pudding, too. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Look at you three big kitties, grocery shopping all by yourselves. We're in the middle of a big, important grown-up job. Oh, those skates are really pretty. I can wear them at the ice rink. Cool. You guys, we got to get some skates. But you haven't got enough money to buy everything. It's either the skates or the groceries. Well, well, then, then we'll, we'll take, take the skates. skates. Hang on, listen. If we really do this, we'll have skate soup for lunch today. Ready, everyone? Bon appetit. Oh. Ice skate soup doesn't sound very yummy. And I'll bet ice skate sandwiches are even worse. We'd like to use the money to pay for our groceries. That's why we're here. Mommy, Mommy Daddy, Daddy, hey! hey. We got everything. Well done, my little dears. You did your big grown-up job very well. Are you ready for a nice surprise? <laughs> ice rink tickets all around. Mommy and I bought them while you three did the grocery shopping. The ice rink? Awesome! That's what we wanted! But we don't have any ice skates, boys. That's all right. We can just rent skates for you there. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats did great at their big, important grown-up job, but having a wonderful time with the whole family was the most important job of all. Mommy's cold. One day, Mommy had caught a cold and had to stay in bed. Here's your breakfast, kittens. Oh, I'm just going to go take Mommy some porridge and honey and lemon. Our poor Mommy. Being ill is no fun at all. I hope that she gets better really quickly. Well, we could help her feel better. What if we did something really nice for her? Oh, yeah. Maybe by cheering her up, we can make the cold go away. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I once heard Grandpa say that laughter was the best medicine. If we really want Mommy to laugh, let's put on a clown show. <coughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
Mommy will laugh so much, she'll get better right away. Hot water bottle to keep your toes warm. Here, have some lovely honey with lemon. Uh, thank you, my darling. Achoo! The kitty cats will now perform the funniest show that you've ever seen. We added laughter medicine. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Mommy's having much fun. Kittens, could the three of you please go play in your room? You shouldn't be near Mommy just now. You don't want to catch her cold as well. Aww. But how are we going to help Mommy if we can't be in the room where she is? We could play a nice concert for her outside. Let's do it! Yeah. I've heard that music can make cats feel better. The rain had stopped, and the kittens were ready to start their concert. One, two, three. Let's begin! <laughs> Darling, what is that strange noise I hear? Um, kittens, could you find a different place to practice, please? Mommy needs peace and quiet to rest. How are we going to do something nice for Mommy if she can't see us or hear us? We could bake her a delicious cake and then bring it to her. But we don't know how to bake a cake pudding. Well, I've watched Daddy do it a bunch of times. The first thing we're going to need is eggs. And flour, right? Oh. Kittens, what was that? Oh, me wow. We were baking Mommy a cake so she'd feel better. We want her to feel so good that her cold goes away. Thank you very much for trying to help Mommy. But for now, we just need to be patient and give her time to get better. And I'll do everything I can to take perfect care of her. It's a real shame I can't make the sun shine for her. You're right. Mommy's always really happy when it's sunny out. I have a really good idea. Hmm. Ah. Uh huh? Darling, look there. The sun is coming out. Just look what a beautiful, bright, shiny sun the kittens have made for me. It's really, really cheering me up. I'm beginning to feel better already. Mommy started to feel better, and Daddy allowed the kittens to visit her. Mommy! Oh, <laughs> now, Mommy? I'm feeling much better. My lovely kittens really cheered me up. And with all that rest and quiet, I'm really much, much better now. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> oh, darling, sounds like you need some bed rest. I think it's my turn to take care of you for a while. <laughs> we'll draw a rainbow to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens learned that rest and relaxation is the best cure for a cold and a sprinkle of kitten sunshine. The art gallery. The kitty cats had worked up quite an appetite butterfly chasing when they ran into their friend Mustard. Hey! Oh, hi. What are you eating there? The yummiest declare in the history of the world. Oh, wow. Could the three of us have just a taste of it? Not a chance. If you want some, then go buy one for yourself. They sell them over there in the cafeteria, the little one that's inside the great big fancy art gallery. A cafeteria in the art gallery? Can you tell us how we can get there? All right. First, you go straight ahead past the square cat. Go straight until you reach the screaming cat, then go right as far as the smiling cat. You'll come to a sculpture, the thinking cat. Right past him is the cafeteria, and in the cafeteria are the eclairs. That made no sense at all. What square cat where? Uh, I don't understand it, but I do have it memorized. Then why don't we run home and draw a nice map of our route? The kitty cats were very excited to have a map to the world's yummiest treasure. Hey, Mom! 
can we visit the big art gallery, please? Oh, it's wonderful that you kitties have taken an interest in art, but I'm tied up cooking lunch. Ask your father. I bet he'd be happy to take you to the gallery. Mom said that? You know, I'm just as busy as your mother. As long as it's for the sake of art, though, I guess this can wait. Let's go to the art gallery right now! Hooray! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The gallery was very big and had lots and lots of pictures. Listen up, kitties, and I'll teach you all about the art. This place has all the greats, like, uh, I was, uh... Hey, there's the square cat, look! Come on! He's really funny, too. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is Cats on Rocks by Andy Hairball. Huh? Ooh, that's a masterpiece. The screaming cat's next. Look there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a very famous painting. It's called The Owl. Look, there's the smiling cat. Huh? <laughs> The Muna Lisa. Oh, what's that must be the thinking cat over there. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> hey, look! The eclairs! Daddy, could you please buy some yummy eclairs for us? Hey, is this the whole reason you wanted to come here? <gasps> <gasps> Mustard was right. This is the yummiest eclair I've ever eaten. Now, this is what I call a masterpiece. Hmm. They use my eclair recipe to make those, you know. Then could you make some more for us when we get home? I don't think so. I have to finish my work. I lost time taking you to a gallery when you really wanted to go to a bakery. Well, you got what you came for. Come on. It's a shame that Dad won't make us any more eclairs. Because I really love those things. They're great, but I also like the screaming cat. And I loved the smiling cat. I thought the square cat was really cool. But Dad thinks the three of us didn't care anything about the art. I have a super good idea. We should all do our very own paintings for him. Then Daddy will know that the gallery trip wasn't a waste of time at all. And soon the kitty cat's house was full of hardworking artists. Huh? <laughs> huh? What are you up to in here? Oh, it's just wonderful. Why, we could hang these up and have our own art gallery. Darling kittens, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed looking at these paintings. And I thought this was a good way to say thank you. Eclairs! The kittens agreed that Dad's eclairs um. were a work of art. Mm. Now it's just like a big fancy gallery here. Beautiful art everywhere and a first-rate cafeteria. Um. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Dad's eclairs were a very big hit, and everyone agreed the Kitty Cat's art gallery was almost as good as the real thing. Forgive and forget. One day, the kittens decided to build a model of their home. Candy drew a pretty diagram of the house. Kittens, that's a wonderful idea. I can sew little doll versions of the family, and they can live in the little model house. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Mommy and Candy went to the store to get some colored paper. Right, come along. I'll find you some cardboard, some glue, and scissors. Cookie and Pudding worked on the frame of the house following Candy's diagram. My half of the model's done, and it's awesome! All that's left is to cover it with colored paper! Oh. No, Cookie. <coughs> you just ruined a very important part. Well, would you like to crush part of my half of the model? That'd be kind of fair, right? Sure, all right. Huh? Why'd you have to break my roof? That's way harder to fix than the part I broke off yours. Uh, how about you cut off one of the walls of mine? All right. Oops. Uh, all right. Now do I get to destroy your half of the house model? No. Just let me think for a minute. I'll find a way to make it up to you. Cookie offered Pudding his favorite, tomato juice. So now are we even? I don't think so. I don't really like tomato juice. I like apple juice much better. 
then I gave up my juice for nothing at all? Uh, well, do you think we'd be even if I gave you my candy? Ah, it's a deal. I like candy very much. Let's go finish the house. Just wait a minute. Your half of the model is still fine, and plus, you got the candy. My house half is just rubble. All I got was that juice I don't even like the flavor of. No fair. <laughs> well, then what if I gave you my ship? But my ship's really awesome. It's way cooler than half of a model. What if I trade my magnifying glass to you? But wait, I love my magnifying glass so much. I could give you something besides that, or do something for you instead. Cookie and Pudding tried making it up to each other by giving gifts and doing nice things. some great colored paper. <gasps> Why did you splash paint on my drawing of the house? I worked really hard making that. We're sorry. We apologize. Is there anything we can do for you to make it up? If you want, you can have my ship. My magnifying glass, too. I can push you on a swing for a long time. And then I can give you my dessert. This way we could really make it up to you. All right, stop, stop, stop. If someone you know does something wrong by mistake, you just need to work to fix that. Isn't that right, Candy? Yes, that's right. I have a really good idea. Pudding and Cookie, I don't want you to do anything. You had me the second you said you're sorry. I forgive you. Oh, wow, that was simple. Pudding, I absolutely forgive you. <laughs> I absolutely forgive you too, Cookie. Well done. We'll work up a nice new diagram and build another house. So, so awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! And that's how the kitty cats realize that they have to forgive each other for making mistakes, so everyone in the little house could live happily and help each other. Kitty kites! One blustery day, the three kitties were anxiously staring out the window. I'd love to go outside if it weren't for the wind. Look at it. You're right. There's no way to read a book in wind like that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, or play badminton. Oh. And Miss Kitty Lou's stroller would never stay put. <laughs> Hey, come back! Well, kittens, when the wind blows like this, it's the perfect day for a kite. Sounds great. I think that we should fly kites today. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The kitty cats wanted to make their kites all by themselves, so they asked Mommy and Daddy for all the supplies they would need. <laughs> I think our kite should be super big, guys. Nah, because that'd be too heavy. If it's small, it'll fly higher. We really need to have lots of bows in the tail, right? Bows aren't aerodynamic. We should have ribbons. Not having a tail at all would probably make it fly faster. I don't want a fast kite. I want a great big one. I want bows to be on the tail, not just ribbons. Well, I'm going to make my kite the way I want. Then so am I. So the kitty cat house turned into a kite factory. And all three kites came out quite differently. Big with a little tail. Small with a long tail. And medium with no tail at all. 
The kitty cats took their kites to the top of a hill, along with some friends. Yay! Just watch how it's really done. Looks like it's my turn then. The disappointed kittens went home. The wind is so strong that it made flying our kites impossible. <laughs> the problem might not be the wind. Perhaps the kites that you made weren't quite right for flying. We couldn't agree what the kite should look like, so we each made our own instead. Hey, let's use all our ideas. We can work together to make one perfect kite. But we'll agree on a plan for everything, all right? That is a great idea. And Daddy... <clears throat> Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be more than happy to help you, kittens. I will? Uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> With Mommy and Daddy's help, the kitty cats worked together and made a wonderful kite. But when they got to the top of the hill, the wind had stopped. We'll never fly our perfect, awesome kite now. <laughs> Hooray, the wind! Everybody ready? All right, then. Let's go flying. Ready, set, whee! <laughs> All right, let her fly! <laughs> It was truly wonderful to see the kites soaring high in the sky, even more special because the kitty cats had made it together. The Kettle Quest. One day, the kittens and Mommy and Daddy were getting ready for tea. Thank you for your help, dear kittens. Everything's ready. I just need to boil some water. I think our electric kettle is broken. Uh, well, can't say I'm surprised, not after how long it's been serving us. Oh, no. We won't ever have yummy lemony tea again. It's nothing to worry about, kittens. We'll zip to the store this instant and pick up a nice, shiny new kettle. We'll have a beautiful new kettle. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> At the store, Daddy and the kittens see that they sell way more than just kettles. Oh, look at that! Markers! We should buy some! But you already have markers, Cookie. Yeah, but not these colors. All right, let's buy them. Oh, hammers! I just remembered I need a new hammer. Hey, look at those cool swim fins. Ah! <laughs> Oh, those are pretty balloons! <laughs> Daddy and the kittens got so carried away shopping that they didn't notice the time. Goodness, we've been here over an hour. Mommy has got to be waiting for us. Come along, let's pay for everything and head home. <laughs> We're oh. back. <laughs> yeah, it appears you had quite a fun shopping trip. You betcha. We bought so many things that we need. New markers. I didn't have all these cool colors. But, Cookie, you already have those colors. Don't you remember? You drew this picture with them. Oh, yeah. You're right. I guess I forgot about them. Look, Mommy, we also bought a rubber ducky. I'll go put it in the bathtub. <laughs> but we've already got lots of rubber ducks. What other things did you buy, my darlings? Uh... 
you bought holiday tree ornaments in the middle of summer? The snowflakes on them are really beautiful. Look, we also got some snow in a can. What's in that box? That is a sea monster costume, dear. Uh, Where are those fancy parties you like? Yes, I'd prefer something fancier, like a mermaid costume. Certainly not a sea monster one. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> a swimming pool filter? Oh, that's right. We don't have a swimming pool. Oh, it's, uh, for, um... Well, yeah, that was a silly thing to buy. But wait till you see our nice new hammer, because I lost my old one. Um, no, you didn't. I saw it in the cellar. You did? <laughs> Hooray! Mommy found my old one. What are we going to do with all this stuff that we bought, Daddy? I think we should put them down in the cellar for safekeeping. Then there wouldn't be any room left down there. <laughs> Help! I have a really good idea. We should return everything to the store. Wonderful idea, Candy. Uh, we'll do it right after we've eaten something. My poor tummy's all rumbly and empty. Well, then it's a good thing that it happens to be tea time. Uh, there might be one small problem. We forgot to buy a kettle. Oh, no. <laughs> no need to worry, my darlings. We have an old metal kettle in the kitchen somewhere. I can use it to heat the water like they did in the old days on the stove. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The family had their tea after all, and the kittens realized that it's not always good to buy everything you want. It's better to buy the things that you really need. Snow sculptures! One day, Painter Cat was holding a competition for the best snow sculpture. The winner of the competition will receive an entire box of yummy cookies. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Look at the camera, everyone. Smile, say mice. Mice! Here are your shovels. Now, imagine the snow is your clay. Just find your inspiration and scout away. Begin! <sighs> I'm gonna make a big snow cat. I'm gonna make an even better snow cat. So am I. Boris decided to make a snow cat too. And so did Dart and Cupcake. Um, I think the arms are usually made from sticks. And for buttons and eyes, you can use nuts. I didn't bring nuts. Dart, can I have some? And me, please. The nose can be made from a pine cone, like this. Whoa! All right, let's take a look at these sculptures and see who's going to win these yummy cookies. Me, me, me! Well, first we have to figure out which is the best sculpture. <laughs> but when Painter Cat saw the row of look-alike snow cats, he had no idea how to choose the best one. Meow, this is a bit tricky. My snow cat might be the whitest of them all. But they're all made of the same stuff, so they're all the same color. Let's see if we can find any other differences. <gasps> But just then, another heavy snow shower began, covering snow cats and kitty cats alike in a squishy white blanket. Mm. Whoa! There's snow all over everything, see? Hey, that hurt. Sorry, I really thought you were my snow cat. Oh! <laughs> well, if we're still going to have a sculpture contest, you kittens need to dig out your snow cats. Hmm. But digging snow cats out of the snow is hard. Hey, where's my snow sculpture? It was right here. My snow cat's in good shape. No, it's not. This is all that's left of mine. Oh, no. They're all ruined. <laughs> we should make our sculptures back at home, guys. That way, the snow won't cover them up. But Cookie, at home they melt in no time. Then we should make them out of something else, like metal. Metal doesn't melt. Sure we could, but then they wouldn't be snow sculptures uh, anymore. They'd be like uh, robot things. Well then, uh, I don't know, but I think I'm really hungry. Hey, something just occurred to me. Pudding, look, your sculpture looks like a cake now, doesn't it? Huh? <laughs> That's right, it does. All you need is a little rose on top. Awesome! awesome. 
I'm going to shape my snow into a beautiful crown for a princess. I'm making a snow rocket ship. <laughs> I'll make a snow clown. Now every kitty cat was making their own special sculpture. Ha-ha! <laughs> Candy made Daddy, Mommy, Cookie, Pudding, and herself. Well, now the sculptures are so different and wonderful, it's even harder for me to pick the best one. Aww. But I do believe I have got the answer. Everyone deserves their own box of cookies for their awesome sculpture. Hooray! We won! I'm so proud of all my cookie winners. That's one of my recipes, by the way, everyone. Oh, I think that it's time for the local news to start. A snow sculpture contest was held today. Cookie, Candy, Pudding, Boris, Dart, and Cupcake were the winners. What a talented bunch of kittens. We're on TV! We're famous now! Everyone loved our sculptures! Turns out Daddy had the great idea to take his competition video to the news station. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! How wonderful that the kitty cats could share their sculptures with the whole town and their prize cookies with the whole family. A picnic! It was a lovely day, so Mommy and Daddy decided to take cookie, candy, and pudding on a picnic. The kitty cats packed all the important stuff they would need. I'm going to make so many sandcastles. And I'm going to try to pull off some extreme outdoor reading. And I'm going to run around. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So much yummy stuff to eat. A picnic's just not a picnic without a basket full of yummy. Make sure we didn't forget anything, Cookie. And you, Candy, and Pudding! It's picnic time! All right! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! To the picnic we go, and we love picnics so. Oh, we all just can't wait. Picnics are great! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is beautiful! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's picnic! Oh, where'd our picnic basket go? Well, I don't know. It could still be at home, I guess. Uh. Or it could be that we lost it. Oh, no. Not our basket of yummy. <laughs> Why don't we just take a rocket check back home, grab the yummy basket, and zoom right back? Nice idea, but Cookie, rockets can't land if there's lots of trees around. Ah! Then why don't we just order a pizza, Mom? Oh, Candy, the pizza guy can't deliver a pizza to the address somewhere in the woods, kind of near that pond thing. But I'm sure that your very clever father can come up with something. Uh... Hey, a fishing rod! I can catch us something yummy! So we can still have the picnic! <laughs> <laughs> While Mommy and Candy looked for branches and sticks to make a fire, Daddy, Cookie, and Pudding had a go at fishing. Where are the fish, Daddy? Where? Where? Fishing is all about patience. <laughs> oh. Daddy, Cookie, and Pudding were patient, but the forest pond just didn't have any oh. fish in it. We have enough wood for a nice fire. All we caught was a cheeky frog. And even he jumped back in the pond. Uh. What if we all hunt for something to eat over there in the woods? Mom's got the right idea. Daddy, you start the fire while we go look for mushrooms. All right, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess we gotta eat something. Pudding used his fungus guide to check which mushrooms were safe to eat and which were poisonous. Look at all these mushrooms! Let's get these cooking, Daddy. I'm afraid the matches were in the basket with the food. Oh. Well, there is no way that we're eating raw mushrooms. Uh, we could rub sticks together, which is how they made fire in ancient times. That's science. Excellent thinking, Pudding. <laughs> Let's help Daddy. We can blow, too. <gasps> Uh -oh. <laughs> we made fire! 
Our picnic's officially back on the right track. Well, the picnic is grand, though it's not what we planned. Oh, it's fun just the same, and we're real glad we came. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like the mushrooms are almost done. And then for dessert, blueberries, cranberries, and raspberries. It turned out that Mommy had secretly picked a whole bunch of berries in the woods. Amazing! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Against all odds, it turned out to be a great picnic, and the whole family was very happy. Packing a bag. One day, Daddy said he had to go on a business trip to another city. Look at my train ticket, everyone. It leaves at 3 o'clock. I'm going to a big baking conference. Oh, that's wonderful and exciting, my darling. Oh, there's not much time. I need to get you all packed up. <laughs> Look, they're running everywhere like crazy. Well, of course, because it's very important work to pack for a business trip. You have to make sure to remember everything you might need. Then let's help Daddy with packing his stuff. That way he won't forget anything too important. Let's, let's help, help him! Me-wow, 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 me-wow! All right, what does Dad need to take with him? Washing stuff, right? Toothbrush, towel, shower cap, soap, and bath sponge. Hair dryer! <laughs> we have to remember to pack this, too. The rubber ducky Daddy always takes his baths with. Right, and now we need some eating and sleeping stuff. First, he'll need some things to cook his dinner with. And some plates, and forks, spoons, and cups, a pillow. And a kettle, just in case he wants to make tea. And with tea, you need jam, raspberry or strawberry. Why not pack both? Goodness, I almost forgot the napkins. He'll need warm clothes like sweaters and scarves in case it gets cold. And an umbrella in case it rains. And flippers in case he wants to swim. And an air mattress wrap for floods. Oh, 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 oh. Great. What else now? The kitty cats thought very hard about all the things Daddy might need. Now we need to pack it all into suitcases. <laughs> Almost there. All that was left to do was to close up the suitcases. Yay! We're the best! We got Daddy all packed up! Daddy! Goodness! Are we moving, kittens? We packed for Daddy. He's completely ready to go. Oh, wow. That's very sweet, my darlings. But uh, isn't it a bit much for a two-day trip? Uh... I have a really good idea. We should take out what you might not need and leave only the things that you really have to take. It turned out all the things Daddy really needed fit into his briefcase. Now I'm all ready to go. Oh, wow, there's just a half hour till the train leaves. I'll just grab my ticket. Uh, oh, 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 my whiskers. I lost my ticket. Right, just stay calm. Now, kittens, let's search for Daddy's ticket. Thanks, but now it's too late. My train just left. I guess no business trip for me. Oh, no. And we worked so hard to get you packed up. <laughs> hmm. It's good that his packing is done with plenty of time to spare, because your train really doesn't leave until tomorrow, darling. What? 
It looks like you just mixed up the dates. Oh, yes, I did. Goodness, I'm silly. Then Daddy gets to take his business trip after all? Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Since Daddy was already all ready for his trip, he didn't have to rush, so he had plenty of time for a lovely evening with the kittens. <laughs>